Hello friends, this video on integrals part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 22. So let's learn that. So we'll use this particular kind of functions in the formulas which are of this type root of a square plus bx plus c. Sorry, a square plus bx plus c, root of a square plus bx plus c or px plus q by ax square plus bx plus we will also learn this uh, use this for this kind of formulas px plus q by root of a square plus bx c so if you see there are two pattern here it is a square plus bx plus c root of a square plus bx c px plus q by ax square plus bx plus c or px plus q by root a square plus ax square plus bx plus c why because we'll convert these guys into same uh, pattern let's see how we'll convert one by one if you, the first was a x square plus b x plus c this guy we can convert in this fashion some let's suppose a plus some some constant right or we can convert into this fashion dx by a square plus x square or a square minus x square can we convert that let's see a x square plus b x c I'll write here as a x square plus b x plus c is nothing but if you see a you take you have x plus a whole square so I'll take this I'll take 1 by a common I'll take so this becomes a common x square plus b by a x plus c what I'm now trying to do is I'm trying to form in this fashion a x square plus a square form and this is nothing but x square plus b by a x right so if you see a b by 2 a whole square if you say if you expand this guy x plus b by 2 a whole square this guy is nothing but x square plus b square by 4 a square plus 2 b x by 2 a 2 to cancel so if you see this is nothing but x square plus b x by a plus b square by 4 square. correct so x square plus bx we already have so let's add and subtract this guy so if you subtract b square by 4a minus b square by 4a plus c we can do this why we are doing this because we wanted to make this guy as x plus b by 2a as well so this becomes a into x plus b by a whole square plus c by b square minus 4a and if you see this is also a constant this guy is a constant so if you see if you take the root of this and you can say square also so this is of this form if you see x square this is k square x square plus k square where or t square plus k because x is already there so let not get confused this is t square plus k square form correct so this is what i have done i have converted this guy into i mean this is this guy is t so i'll write see t is equal to x by b by 2a plus so dt will be equal to dx so dx becomes dt and this becomes t square by plus k square correct plus or minus depending on the sign of this so plus minus this so what i have done this i have converted this guy into dt by t square plus minus k square let's take the another pattern this is similar to the earlier we have solved in the earlier uh, slide we have seen that this guy we were able to convert this into this form so i'll write the same thing in this fashion this guy just here same exactly except we have extra root here so ax square plus bx plus c we were able to convert in this form uh, we'll take root a common correct so this was x plus b by 2a whole square plus c by a minus b square by exactly same thing you see here this guy is also nothing bad t square plus k square and here t is equal to t is equal to x plus some constant 
So dt will also be equal to dx. So this guy dx I write as dt by some constant here root of t square plus minus k square depending on the sign of k. So if you see here also we were able to convert this guy into the same pattern we are looking for. Exactly same. In these kind of questions what we do is we write this guy as a into differentiation of this guy plus some constant. I'll show you why. I'll write px plus q as d by dx of this guy ax square plus bx plus c plus some constant. So with that the advantage is if I am able to break this into two part right I'm able to break this into two part so what happens is this guy becomes is nothing but first part is this guy some a into constant so this guy becomes a into a x square plus b x plus c differentiated by a x square plus b x plus c plus some constant into a x square plus b x plus c correct b x both sides this part I know how to find integral some constant into this a x square plus a x square by b x plus c. How just now we have done we can convert this guy into uh, t square plus k square form right plus minus k square. This guy what we can do is if I take the whole thing as let's suppose t my dx into dt this guy will be something like this if I take the whole thing as t t and this guy is nothing but t dash dx if my t is equal to x t dash dx is dt t dash dt is dx so this guy is sorry if x is equal to t it made one again x is equal to t x dash dx is dt this guy is my x dash dx so this will be dt and a is constant so there will be a dt by t plus this i know how to differentiate integrate dt by t i know is log t so what happened is this guy i was able to easily convert into a simpler form i wrote px plus q as a into derivative of this a x square plus b x c plus some constant or you can say b also anything so we can find the value of a and b once we have the value of a and b, I can actually break this into two part. This part, I know how to find derivative, I just learned in the previous slide. This part becomes dt by t, that is log t, and that is very easy to find. Similarly, in this fashion, this case also will do the same thing exactly what we have done in the last case. Here also, px plus q, I'll write as a into derivative of this plus b. So if I am able to convert this into this fashion, so my this will become a into derivative of this by root of a x square plus b x plus c plus my sum constant b into a x square plus b x plus c both dx. Correct. This part I know how to find. This part I know. This part again, if I say that my this guy as t correct so again x dash dx as dt same thing so this guy we will use here x dash dx become dt by root t and that is also easy to find so let's solve some question using some particular function 3x square by x to the power 6 plus 1 so here my goal is to convert this kind of equation into uh, dt by t square plus k square form because looks like I can convert into this kind of fashion t square plus k square form. Now in this if I put x cube is equal to t this becomes t square plus 1 square 
also advantage is advantage here is 3x square dx is dt. So 3x square dx is I can make it dt directly. So this will become dt by t cube is x cube is t, so this becomes t square plus 1. Directly I converted this guy into this fashion just by placing x cube as t. Correct. So what we have seen here is we finally converted this guy into particular function form. So once I have, I can just directly use the formula dt by t square plus 1 is nothing but tan square t plus some constant. What is the value of t? t is x cube. So tan square x cube plus some constant is my answer. Was it difficult? No. So here what we have done? First we have used substitution to convert this into simpler form. Simpler form in the sense particular form. Once I have the particular form, I just used direct form. If you don't have this particular form here, again you have to, again in this case you have to use t is equal to tan theta and then again fine. But now since I have the particular formula and this kind of Equations are very common in mathematics world, so I learned this formula. dt by t square plus 1 is tan inverse t. Directly use the formula and get the answer. So, complex integration solved in three steps. There's a power of particle formula. One more example we'll take. So, this is dx by 1 plus 4x squared. This is almost in the particular formula only. We don't have much. If you see, if you put this is nothing but 1 by root 1 plus 2x whole square dx. Correct. So let's put 2x is equal to t. To make our life simple, I get 2 dx is equal to dt or I get dx as dt by 2. So this becomes dx as dt by 2 that is 1 by 2 dt. Root of 1 plus t square. Correct. Now this is again a particular function. I can directly use the formula. So root of 1 plus t square, uh, 1 by root of 1 plus t square dt is nothing but log of t plus root t square plus 1 plus some constant. And t is what? 2x. So this becomes 1 by 2 log of 2x t square plus 1 that is t square is 4x square plus 1 plus some constant and that is my answer. So here also if you see what we have done, we have simplified this into particular form. Once I have the particular form, I just use the formula. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.